for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. And I'll be going through the past, present challenge and outcome. Now, in the recent past, we have the Four of Pentacles. Now, this card can it can be about holding on to things, people, money, or situations much longer than that is healthy or realistic for you. So when this card appears in a reading, it's a definite sign that you must look carefully at what you are holding on to, clinging to, and whether others are clinging to you in, a, in an unhealthy way. Now, the Four of Pentacles, it also can point to anxiety and fear about money and or clinging on to whatever that is that makes you feel secure. So in the past, the, in the past, the key was to try to realize that being anxious and holding on too tight does not bring security. And that's what you tried to realize in the past. And we have this card paired with the devil card. So, with a devil card, first thing, well, the first thing first, you didn't let other people tell you that your options were limited. If you came to that conclusion, you made sure that you were coming to it on your own. So regardless, it would have been a crucial time to remember that you can or you could have freed yourself from whatever restrictions were holding you back at that time or at any time you ch had chosen to do so. You could have or you may have had the feeling that you were not in control of your life. Sometimes this happens as a result of our own actions, but more often it could have been as a byproduct of no action. So you made sure to take action or you know that you had needed to take action in the past to take whatever steps you could have to give yourself the feeling, however big or small, of being in control. Even if it was merely making a choice on what you were going to eat for dinner. You also knew that small baby steps were important at that time. And that was in the past. Now we move on to the present. We have the hangman. Now the hangman it basically shows that you're at crossroads. Now it could be one with only two options. In and out, up or down, yes or no. Something like that, okay? You 
may find yourself very much wanting to do something, but having no idea what it is or how to do it. So make sure that if that happens, that's a clear sign that you should stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of attempts to control life's situations, people, and things. Because it's possible that there is an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of. Just remember that any sacrifice that you make will open up your life to something even more positive than what you are letting go of. So all in all, this should be a thoughtful, reflective time, particularly if you are willing to look at it or to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. Now, the hangman is paired with a sun card. Now, the sun card is basically showing that things are going very well for you. However, even through even though finances are likely to be in good shape when this card appears in a reading, now that does not mean that you should lose focus on what is truly important in life. And money is not very high on that list. So just keep in mind that this is a good time to socialize meet new people, and get out and about. If you're looking for a new job, this card can mean that it's right around the corner for you. So with these two cards paired together, the hangman is just to let you know that you're at a crossroads, you're not sure which way to go. And that it's possible that you're holding on to an outdated attitude that you need to let go of. But with the sun card being paired with this card, it's just letting you know that your finances will be looking good. It's a good time to get out and socialize. And if you're looking for a new job, it could be right around the corner. But like I said, with the hangman, just make sure to let, up, let go of any outdated attitudes or thoughts that could keep you held back from enjoying the gifts that the sun brings. And that will be the present. And we move on to the challenge, the king of swords. Now the king of swords... It often stands for a powerful, opinionated, forceful man in our lives or in your life. Now, he'll often but not always have hair on the darker side or the darker end of the spectrum. So, you may be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally. So when this card does not represent a man in your life, you could be thinking about how it affects you personally if it's not a man. Okay? So consider the feelings of others before you act. 
So pretty much the King of Swords, it, it points to a very forceful energy. So it could be that forceful energy instead of a powerful male. Now you may not be able to get a man in your life to change his mind or do what you want. You also may need to change something major about your behavior, your thoughts, and your expectations. So don't extend your reach. Do not extend your reach. Now we have this card paired with the Six of Pentacles, which is often a sign of a turn for the better. Particularly with regard to money. Now it's one of the more positive pinnacles in the tarot. It speaks of equality, fairness, and the cynical, yeah, I would say cynical nature of life. So when this card appears, you're likely to be heading into a positive cycle. Now the Six of Pentacles is often a card about generosity, meaning that you are either about to be the beneficiary or the giver of something of value. So make sure to share what you have as there is always someone who needs it. So with these two cards paired together, it's just letting you know that a powerful, forceful male figure could be in your life or about to enter your life. And you may not be able to get this type of person to change his or her, or to change his mind. So you may, you may need to work on your behavior, your attitude, if you decide to keep this person in your life because it's paired with the Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles, as I said, it's a great time for money. So this person that's coming into your life or this powerful or um, opinionated forceful male figure it could have a lot to do with money uh, could be a male figure giving you money as a beneficiary or giving you something of value but these two paired together they're related to this powerful forceful male figure in its Six of Pentacles is letting you know it's all about money. Money in a great way, being the beneficiary. And that's going to be your challenge. And then we move on to the outcome. The Page of Pentacles. Now this card can be about boredom. Boredom in some ways. You may be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up just a little for excitement. So rethink this impulse and find a better use of your energy. Excitement, it can be created. The Page of Pentacles is it's a great energy to support you when you have somewhat tedious work to get accomplished. This uh, card, it gives you focus, backbone, and the ability to stick with a task that's not necessary, glamorous, or fun. And then this card is paired with a knight of cups, which is most, if not all of the cups in the tarot, is an optimistic 
very good card to see in a reading. It, of, it often comes with messages. Usually, these are the kind of good news messages that we all would love to receive. So, in general, this card tells you that things are going to be going very well. And you are likely to be feeling charged up and ready for action. Now, this card often means that good news with matters of the heart, they are likely to be headed your way soon. Now, these two cards paired together, the Page of Pentacles is letting you know you may feel a little bored at this time and you want to shake things up, cause some trouble, but think before you do that because you, there's better ways to use your time, okay? And it's paired with the Knight of Cups with messages coming your way. It could be from this forceful powerful man that we saw in the King of Swords and that was a challenge for you so it may be a challenge dealing with this person but the outcome is the Knight of Cups so maybe this forceful male figure is bringing you great news and happy messages because the Knight of Cups is your outcome and the messages is always news that we want to hear. The Knight of Cups is an optimistic card so just remember that. So that will be the outcome. So Scorpio I hope this resonate with you. As you know general readings they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day. And have a